Hi, I'm Fame Kenover of Languin.com, and this is Mandarin Chinese. Today's riddle is: How long is a Chinese name? Put your answer in the comments below. Today we're going to ask and answer questions having to do with duration. Let's listen in as Mrs. Orion asks Mr. King, the Foreign Service officer, about his plans. How long are you staying? You live how long? You live how long? I'm staying one year. I live one year. I live one year. Here's the verb to stay or to live. Stay. Stay. You've had the verb "住" followed by "fly" plus a place word. In these sentences, it's followed by a duration phrase. Here's how you say "how long." 多久？多久？多久？ You'll recognize the word "多" meaning "how," as in "多大？" How old? The word "久" means long in the sense of duration. Word for word, then the question. 你住多久 ？Is you stay how long? Listen to the answer again. I'm staying one year. 我住一年。我住一年。Here's how you say one year. 一年。一年。一年。When telling how many years, no counter is used. Notice that the tone on one e becomes falling before the rising tone of 年。一年。Notice that 多久 how long, and the duration expressions that answer it, like 一年 one year, come after the verb. You'll remember that when 什么时候 and the time expressions which answer it come before the verb. Listen to the exchange again live. 你住多久？我住一年。Try translating it. 你住多久？ How long are you staying? I live one year. I'm staying one year. On their way to Taiwan, the King stopped at Hong Kong. Mr. King had to leave for Taiwan the next day, but Mrs. King stayed a little longer. Here's a question Mr. King might have been asked while he was still in Hong Kong: How long is your wife staying? You 太太住多久？你太太住多久？ She's staying two days. She stays two days. She stays two days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. Listen to the speaker count from one day to five days. No counter is used. You'll remember that in a phrase telling how many, the number two has the special form. Yeah. Now listen to the exchange again live. You 太太住多久？她住两天。Suppose Mr. King was not definite about his wife's plans. Listen. How long is your wife staying in Hong Kong? You 太太在香港住多久？你太太在香港住多久？ I think she's staying two days. I think she's staying two days. I think she's staying two days. Here's the verb to think or to believe. Think, think, think. Notice that when a place and a duration are mentioned in the same sentence, the place goes before the verb, and the duration goes after the verb. Here's the exchange live. 你太太在香港住多久？我想她住两天。Try translating it. 你太太在香港住多久 ？How long is your wife staying in Hong Kong? 我想她住两天。I think she's staying two days. 
The verb Xiang. can also be used for a different meaning. Listen to this exchange. How long are you thinking of staying? I'm thinking of staying one year. When the verb Xiang is followed by a whole sentence as in it means to think such and such is the case. I think that she's staying two days. When it's followed by just a predicate, it acts as an auxiliary verb meaning to be thinking of doing something or to plan or intend to do something. I'm thinking of staying one year. Here's the exchange live. Try translating it. How long are you thinking of staying? I'm thinking of staying one year. So far, we haven't had a duration expressed in months. When telling how many months, you do use a counter. The general counter, ge. One year is, but one month is, listen to the speaker count up to five months. Listen for the duration of months in the following exchange. How long are you thinking of staying in Taiwan? I'm thinking of staying six months. Here's the exchange live. An auxiliary verb like 想 comes not just before the main verb of the sentence, but also before any prepositional verb. Listen to the following sentence with and without the auxiliary verb 想. I work in Taipei. 我在台北工作。我在台北工作。I'm thinking of working in Taipei. 我想在台北工作。我想在台北工作。The auxiliary verb qualifies the meaning of the entire verb phrase, not just the main verb. What you're thinking of doing is working in Taipei. Not simply working. A duration can also be expressed in weeks. Listen. 你朋友想住多久？他想住两个星期。You'll notice that weeks, like months, are counted with ge. Two days is 两天, but two weeks is 两个星期。Here's the exchange again. 你朋友想住多久？他想住两个星期。Try translating it. 你朋友想住多久？ How long is your friend thinking of staying? He's thinking of staying two weeks. How? Remember to head over to Languin.com to do the exercises. That's Languin, as in Languin the Penguin. Thanks for watching. I want to thank all of our supporters who have helped make these courses possible. We want to keep making free courses for you, and with your help, we can do that. So be sure to head over to our Patreon page, where, in exchange for as little as a dollar, you'll get bonus stuff. Until next time, stay cool.